Welcome Matters With. I'm your host, Philip Bryan. Today, we're here to discuss Novel Matters With You. I Will Find You by Edgar Award-winning New York Times best-selling author Harlan Coben. The hardback is 336 pages, and it is published by Grand Central Publishing. It is presented in audio format by Brilliance Audio with a runtime of 10 hours, 16 minutes, and is performed by Stephen Weber. I Will Find You has a release date of March 14th of 23. The pre-release copy I was sent was PDF only, so this review will be based on the written word only and not reflective of Mr. Weber's audio performance. This is my first Harlan Coben novel. Prior to this, I only knew him via his respected reputation. We meet our lead, David Burroughs, the day he gets a surprise visit from his former sister-in-law, whom he has not seen or spoken to since he went to prison for murdering Matthew his son and her nephew. She puts a photo against the glass of Matthew, holding the hand of a man just out of focus at a Six Flags amusement park. But here's the thing. The photo was taken long after Matthew was supposedly murdered. Due to plot devices that are a bit spoiler-based, David's only option is to quickly escape prison and prove his innocence without fear, doubt, or hesitation, something he failed to do five years earlier. That is when us, the reader, join David on a suspense-filled tale that is full of twists and turns and tension-based confrontations. Some of these twists and turns ring clever and true, and some of them are eye-roll-inducing. The supporting characters are mostly fantastic. I would be extremely interested in a prequel, book, or series about Warden McKenzie set in the 70s. Yes, Harlan, give us a prequel about... Warden McKenzie, and Lenny, and Ruth, and Sophie, and of course, Nikki. The FBI agents on David's tale are driven, and quirky, and focused, and highly entertaining. They may seem somewhat familiar to the reader. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen! The first two-thirds of this tale, which is incredibly self-aware of its own inspiration, drawn from The Count of Monte Cristo and The Fugitive, is nearly superb. If it wasn't aware of where it had drawn its inspiration, it would not be as high quality or as endearing or as believable. The self-awareness and the in-story acknowledgement that these situations seem like these classic tales is part of what sells it. The back third of the novel is not nearly as deftly executed. However, it is a highly entertaining, tense read. I did not buy the way it all wrapped up, but I enjoyed the ride, and I would like to meet many of these characters again, especially in a prequel format. I give I Will Find You by Harlan Coben a B+. What are some of your favorite Harlan Coben novels? Who are some of your favorite authors? Are you familiar with The Fugitive Tale, both the original television series from the 60s, a hit movie from the 90s, or the two failed reboots that have come since then that Most of us have already forgotten. We'll talk soon.